next guest is Britain's badass of boxing. Last weekend, he defeated Zab Judah in the most highly anticipated fight of the summer. So please welcome the unified super lightweight champion of the world, Amir Khan. <laughs> I think it suits you better than me. Hello. There you go. Hey. First of all, first of all, congratulations you. on, on your victory. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Uh, and and, and uh, I'm happy that uh, I'm your first talk show. This is your first American talk show appearance. Yes. Huh? And um, hopefully the first one will be the best one. Always be the best one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how do you feel after the fight on Saturday? I feel good. You know, I wasn't really, really hurt much. Um, I got caught maybe four or five times in the fight. Um, he was strong, and I knew he was going to hit hard, so I kind of stayed away from his big punches. <laughs> and, um, but, you know, it was, it, it was great. You know, I went in there. I mean, I, I've come out. It doesn't seem like I've been in a fight. Right. It uh, does not seem like you've been in a fight. No, no, I feel so. It seems like maybe yeah. you've been out a little late. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think the after party was a bit more crazy than the fight, but um, I think we'll leave it there. Well, what, ha what happened to the after party? Did you go to a nice club, hang out um, with some ladies? Yeah, well, um, we... Because, we, you um, know, when you're fighting, you, you don't have sex uh, at all. Yeah, you have to be good. You abstain from sex, even yeah. manually. No yeah. sex. <laughs> you, have to, you have to behave. Yeah, you have to behave. You have to be uh, focused on your job. Uh, but, yeah, after the fight, we went to an after party. Uh, Andrew Bynum, basketball player, he was there, Mr. Capone, and also um, Jay Sean, he yeah. was there as well. So we went there, we partied, and um, it, it was great, you know, um, so many girls kept coming over to me, tried kissing me, and I was like, oh, my lips are hitting me, I can't kiss you. It got really, really, really busy. It got busy. wild. It got wild because... You um, have your I'm belts with you when you were in the club? I didn't take them with me, no. Um, because, you know, I thought, yeah, you, right. let them have a rest for the night. All right, yeah. okay, cool. Now, now you, you won every round of the fight. Yes. What was the plan going into the fight? Well, you know, my, I don't know if you all know, but my trainer's called, his name's Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach, Freddie. Manny Pacquiao's trainer. Yeah, yeah Freddie yeah. Roach. And, um, Freddie uh, gave me a game plan. He set me with a game plan to go in there and put the pressure on Zab, uh, push him back a little bit, show your speed to him, show the power, hit him with some clean shots, and that's what we did. I could see after the first round, you know, uh, he didn't want any of it. He was yeah. hurt, and then that's when I started putting the pressure on more and more, and as the fight went on, I could see him getting hurt, and you know when you can see in someone's eyes he doesn't want to fight? Right. That's what it seemed like, you know, it seemed like he didn't want to be in there. And so when I hit him with that body shot in the fifth round, I mean, it was like... That was night. it, he laid him out. Now check, there's a little bit of controversy, so let's take a look. You can talk over the tape. Here, here's what happened on Saturday night. There's a little bit of controversy, uh, Amir. Now, this is the punch that's that does right. it, right? That's, that was a good shot, and he went down, and then... You know, he was open for that body shot. You could see how, how wide his arms were. So yeah, right, right there. But then a lot of people said the punch was below the belt. I mean, that was waistline. But I really think his belt was low. I mean, too high. Too high. He, um, and if he really thinks that was a low blow, man, he must have high balls. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, so, so, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fair, I'm a fair fighter. I, I yeah. never cheat. And uh, I saw the opening, and I was right for And it. you wore him down. Yep. I wore yeah. him down, and he didn't want any of it. Yeah, there. yeah. How, how, how is uh, Zab compared to some of the past opponents that you've had? You know, I fought a lot of great fighters, and I always respect my opponents. Um, Zab's a great fighter. He, he's, like, five-time world champion. Uh, I've also fought and Marco Antonio Barrera, Mexican as well. Yes. Another great fighter, great Mexican legend. I beat him. Uh, now, now, wait a minute. And, um, yeah. No, no, he beat him. Hey, Marco Antonio Barrera is, is unbelievable. Now you, now, you like fighting Mexicans. You know what? I, I train with a lot of Mexicans, and I fought a few. And yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, it's, it might sound a bit weird, this, because if I like fighting Mexicans, you might say, you like beating Mexicans up. But it's not, it's not like that. I mean, I like Mexicans, but I fought maybe one or two. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's all right. You don't fight me. No, but... I don't like fighting Mexican. I fight but whoever's out there. They fight. They fight tough, though. They're they're tough. Oh, they, you yeah. don't see that look in their eye that they don't want to fight. Man, Mexicans are tough. Yeah. 
But, you know, they, they have the, they have the, you know, they, they love to get into a war and fight. I mean, they never take a step back. I mean, there's so, there's so many great fighters that they're like Oscar. By the way, Oscar told me to, he, he tweeted me just a minute ago and he said, make sure you tell uh, George, uh, call you a <laughs> <laughs> That, that, means that, means. that means good friend. That means good friend. So, so. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean. Oscar's a great fighter. Also, sometimes Latino fighters, if you beat them, they'll follow you home in the car and try to fight you in your driveway. <laughs> hey, fool, hey, nobody here. <laughs> well, you know, that, that's not happened yet, so. So, 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 I mean, you, you're a flashy fighter, right? Yeah. You, 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 you like style, and you've trained very hard. Yeah. Right? How, can you beat anybody in the world right now? Well, definitely. You know, I, I, my, my, my ambition is to be the best in the world pound for pound. And to, to do that, you have to train hard. I mean, I work very, very hard. My strength conditioner, Alex Ruiz, pushes me. Right. He also trains money. Uh, Freddie pushes me. And I think it's up to yourself. I mean, as you, you as a fighter, if you want to be the best, you have to, I mean, dig deep in that. When you're in that uncomfortable zone, you need to get through it. And, and, and where did you, and where did you come? Yeah. When did you, how did you start fighting? Because you, you're, you're... I was, I was at the age of eight. I was very hyperactive when I was a kid. I used to fight with my brothers and sisters and <laughs> used to mess around. I mean, yeah. you know, I was just like, like most kids. But and, you, you uh, probably used to hit him harder. A little, a little harder, yeah. And then your pops took you to the gym and said, you want to fight, fight my dad, here. Yeah, my dad said, Let, let's go to the boxing gym and so you can, you know, burn your energy, and, uh, burn your energy in some, in, in some, into something positive. Yeah. So I went to the boxing gym and uh, I was, uh, you know, you might not believe this, but I was a bit of a, like, a big kid, you know, when I was small. And um, slowly boxing taught me discipline. It kept me off the streets and I, was, I started to behave in school and... Um, since then, I've been good. You man. might not believe it either, but I was kind of a big kid when I was growing up too. So, so, uh, <laughs> so now you live in LA. Was it tough adjusting to living in Los Angeles? There's a lot of distractions, especially if you wanna if you wanna train hard. That's right. And I, I've been in LA now three years training over there. I mean, in England, I, I don't get me wrong. I love fighting and training in England, but I mean, it's so hard to walk the streets there. People know who you are. Even non-boxing fans, hey, that's Amir Khan. Oh, and then, yeah. you know, that's not. It's like my mother when she sent me to get a bottle of milk from the shop. <laughs> um, it might take me like an hour because I meet so many people. But um, the reason I moved from uh, England to America was because I, I lost a fight and. Um, I really had to focus and regroup. But you lost myself. a fight in under a minute. That's right, yeah. You got knocked out in 57 seconds. I mean, it was, it was like a flash bang. Yeah. And it happened so quick. And I think that's the best thing that ever happened to me because, I mean, everything was going so well and you never look at your bad points. And when that happened, I kind of realized, look, this, this sport's dangerous and you have to be focused. And that's the reason I kind of sacrificed everything now. Yeah. I'm in LA, trained with Freddie Roach. And since I've been with Freddie, you know, I'm climbing the power of my rankings. Oh, yeah, you look great. No, you look great. And, and, and where did you end up living? Did you get a house or did you get an apartment? Or? Uh, I've got an apartment in, in Hollywood. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not the best place to have an apartment when you're in a training camp because all the <laughs> parties and, I mean, I'm looking out the window and I'm in training camp thinking, oh, man, I want to be partying. But, oh, who, who lives in? You got a party building? Yeah, Who my, lives in your building? Well, you, I, 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 um, Snoop Dogg lives in the same building. Wait a minute, Snoop lives in an apartment? Uh, 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 uh. Snoop's always at the building. Um, I always walk past him. I met him once um, in the parking lot. They were, they were shooting a music video, I mean, in the parking lot. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I was like, all right. So I met him, went, spoke to him, and I, I introduced myself. Uh, I'm, I'm a world champion, and he's like, hey, man, I'm Snoop Dogg. And I was like, yo. And then, uh, but you know what? Every time you walk past his uh, room, you can smell he's having fun. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, Snoop is a great guy. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan. Uh, but yeah, you know. But when you're trying to train, you don't you don't want you, you don't want that stuff in the air because you got to get you could get tested. Yeah, I get drug tested. We us fighters get drug tested every time. I mean, we we are clean fighters, and I think that's the good thing about boxing. We are all drug tested, and we are 100 percent clean. Yeah. And I think that's the good thing about sport. But Snoop, you got to be careful because Snoop got some stuff that goes through the wall. Yeah. <laughs> It'll get you. you thought, <laughs> oh, be careful. I'm gonna. That packs a punch. He was I'm, he was here. We're I think all knocked out. I'm gonna have to change my floor. Yeah. I'm gonna have to change floors. Have to go to different Congratulations on, on your victory. Appreciate All right. it. Thank you. Good luck. Welcome to America, Amir. You're great. Amir Khan, the unified super lightweight champion of the world.